as uh, Wildlife Trust Forest School ambassador, I've been around lots of schools and seen all sorts of activities going on. They're all very different, all very diverse. But what you're seeing here is a classic one. We're, we're building a bug hotel, which is, is great. It engages sort of physical play. They're, they're exploring materials. They're, they're looking at what these materials might be to other creatures. You know, a bamboo cane isn't just a bamboo cane. It's something that animals will live inside. And they're putting all these thoughts and all their lessons together to create a bug hotel. And there's all sorts of uh, group interactions, the discussions going on. It's lots of lessons within one, and not a single one of these. Uh, these pupils is is unstimulated by what they're seeing. This is the perfect lesson in many ways. The other advantage of being outside is is attention spans are, are generally better. I think 20 minutes uh, extra is what you could get out of an average pupil outside, which is, if you're a teacher, you know that means an awful lot. That's effectively 20 minutes more learning you can do in a lesson. Um, and also, it's just good to engage the brain. It's good to be physical outside. Um, and also, if you are not an academic pupil, you don't have to be an academic. Outside, it's about other, we tend to call them softer subjects, but arguably they're just as important as academic achievement. And that's simple things like how to get on with your, with your peers, um, and how to, how to play nicely together, and how to explore the world around you, and how to value it as well. So, the big takeaway for this, Amina, is that everywhere I go, I'm dealing with schools that wouldn't otherwise have been able to afford um, this sort of a lesson. So this is coordinated by the Wildlife Trust, but it's made financially possible by players of the People's Postcode Lottery. So if that's you, we've got to just, we've just got to say a big thank you.